Today we're gonna to be making awesome little ice cream sandwich spiders. They're super, super, super easy. And you can just make these in like an hour tops. So let's get started. What you're gonna need, two dots. One pack of Oreo biscuits, a tub of ice cream, some stringy licorice, some dark chocolate, some little meringues, and a black decoration pen and a cookie cutter, which is the same size of an Oreo biscuit. So to begin, you're gonna take your Oreo cookies and you're gonna split them in half and remove the filling. I'm gonna keep my filling in a bowl. You can keep it and eat it or use it or you can discard it, it's the same thing really. And today's recipe is gonna be like the easiest recipe you'll probably ever see me make. <laughs> so this morning my nephew comes up to me and tells me that um, this afternoon he's gonna need some spider dessert for a party he's going to. And he couldn't have told me earlier because that would have been too easy. <laughs> so I had to come up with something this morning that I could make in really, really little time. So I'm making this for him this afternoon. Hopefully it turns out good because I am making this up as I go. Okay, so I have unfilled my Oreo cookies and now you're going to take your licorice. I found the traditional rolled ones and you're just going to unroll it and then you're going to remove the halves so they become like two strings. And what you want to do is take an Oreo as a reference so you know the size approximately and you can decide how long you want the legs to be so I want them about that big so I'm gonna cut them where I think is the right size and then I'm gonna unroll and I'm gonna put four three or four legs in each let's see yeah, I can probably make four fit. So I'm just gonna keep unrolling this and making them more or less, yeah, the same size. So I have four here and there, when I put the ice cream, I'm gonna put them directly so that there's less chances of breaking. And these are gonna be my little spider legs. I'm gonna do that with the rest of the licorice now. Okay, so here are my little spiders. They don't really look like spiders. So I decided to make just three legs because four was just too many and I think they look really pretty. So now you're going to take your ice cream straight from the freezer and you're going to have to work quite fast because it is going to melt. You need a knife, big knife and make sure it's serrated knife because otherwise this will go flying everywhere and hopefully that will not happen today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay so you can, um, I want mine to be a thickness of about a finger. So I'm gonna cut right about here and I'm gonna start cutting. Almost there. This is harder than it looks. Okay, so I've managed. And I'm using this like different flavor ice cream. It's like, in, it in Italian it's called stracciatella and it's our version of cookies and cream. It's so good. Okay, so my ice cream is melting at the speed of light. But I managed to make one from this. So just to show you, I'm gonna cookie cut it out, get everything out of my way, get one of the Oreo, open it up using my knife I'm gonna take this circle of ice cream and I'm gonna place it on top just like that and then I'm gonna close it up and these will have to go straight into the freezer no time to waste need to get going and if I have chocolate on my face it's because I've been eating my ice cream 
So my spiders are in the freezer and I've made a little mistake that you must not make. I bought ice cream that never really freezes completely. It's like the kind of soft ice cream. So it was much harder than it's supposed to be. So if you have ice cream that actually freezes like normal ice cream, it will be so much easier to cut and uh, use the cutter and put it in the middle. Anyway, put your spiders in the freezer and we're gonna make the little eyeballs now. Well, the eyes and the eyeballs. So I'm using little meringue drops and I'm gonna use a decorating pen, which is black. And I'm just gonna take one and splodge some out. The beginning is always transparent, so let that run a bit. And you take that off. So you squish it out and you just dab it on there and you've made an eye simple as and you if you have kids you can get your kids involved in this it's simple enough they can make them they can have fun doing it so yeah i'm gonna make all my eyes now okay so here are my little spiders and i think they look I mean, considering everything and the little amount of time I've had to plan this, I think it's okay. So we need to work quickly because these melt like, I was gonna say like fire, but fire doesn't melt. Anyway, so I've put um, just a few squares of chocolate in a little bowl and I've put this in the microwave so it has now melted and make sure your hands are quite clean. And you're gonna pick up a little eyeball and dip the back in the chocolate just a little bit and then place it on a spider and when you put this back in the fridge that will all set and it will keep the, the eyeball on I keep calling it an eyeball but it's an actual eye oh my god it's so cute Aww. I'm gonna stick all of them on now. Okay, so here they are. They're already starting to melt. So now I'm gonna put them in the freezer for about another 30 minutes to make them set. So here they are, they're little spiders. And they're super cute. And as I told you, I did have the melting ice cream problem, but if you don't have that, it'll be great. <laughs> And they actually look like spiders. They have little eyes and legs. They're so cute. And I think for a kid's birthday party, they're great. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you would like me to make in future videos in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.